Think you that Caesar's career can feel the loss of your desertion? Think you that you have ever turned the scale in my favor? Providence will never stoop so low that fate can attend to the life and death of such as you. All these events depend upon the actions of the leaders. It is for the sake of a few that mankind in general lives. While you bore the name of Caesar, you were the terror of the Spanish world and of the North. But had Pompey led you, you would certainly have fled. I have the chance to disband men whose greed is unbounded and for whom the world is not enough. Henceforward, at least I shall fight battles to please myself. Be gone from the camp and surrender my standards to men, ye cowards and civilians. Those few at whose instigation this madness broke out are detained here not by their general, but by their punishment. Down with you upon the ground and stretch out for the axe your treacherous heads and necks. And you raw recruits who alone will form the backbone of the army in future, watch their execution and learn how to slay and to be slain. The spiritless mob cowered before his fierce and menacing words, and the great army feared a single man whom they could have stripped of his command as if he could control their very swords and make the steel obey him when the man refused obedience. The execution had settled their grievances. Order was restored by the conclusion of this dreadful pact, and the men returned to their duty.